welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective love reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Also keep in mind that everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, the information will be in the description box below. And please don't forget to like this video. All right, let's see. Let me know in the comment section if this video resonates with you, okay? I'd love to hear from you guys. Let's see. What's going on for the collective in love, please? Show me the collective in love, please. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant. So there could be a marriage or some, some form of commitment here. Or long, it could very well be a marriage or long-term commitment. We also have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone doesn't wish for this, though. This isn't their fulfillment or they feel like it is. They want to end or complete this cycle here and offer new love elsewhere. But it's an obsession, Somebody has an obsession about offering love elsewhere while being in a, in a connection that they're not happy in. If you're not happy in a connection, then you know what you need to do. Not this. Not going around offering toxic love to everybody. And getting people involved in third parties. Why is the Hierophant here? Or what's the relationship between the Hierophant and the Cups reverse? Three of Cups in the reverse. So they are going around offering love to third parties. It's very toxic. Getting other people involved in your connection. Okay, this will be eliminated to you soon. This will come out to you soon. You will see this, or you will find out somehow. We also have the King of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who is loves to be the center of attention, needs a lot of outside validation, a lot of admiration, can be a bit selfish as well. This is the person who's probably doing this. With the Queen of Swords in the reverse. This person's very, uh, they have a wounded feminine energy within them. Maybe a mother wound. They're not very honest about this. Um, they're very cold and apathetic as well towards you. Seven of Pentacles reverse. They're not, they're not a good investment here. They're not investing in this relationship because they're too busy investing elsewhere. Yeah, three of Pentacles reverse. They're not working on this. They're not working on their selfishness or their ego and being cold. The Magician in the reverse. They're also very manipulative as well. Um, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck talks about the truth has now been spoken here with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. They're not single, they but they act single. They're not stable. That might be why they're staying in this relationship. Ten of Cups in this family dynamic that they're not, they don't want to be in. But the Divine is calling judgment on this. That they have to make a decision very soon about what it is that they want. They're dropping lovers possibly. But they're not learning their lesson. They're going to be dropping this connection as well. Three of Swords in reverse to try to get some type of recovery. It's going to be very painful when they do this because they're still not being honest with the Seven of Swords here. Ace of Wands, they have a lot of no, a lot of new love offers that they are trying to invest in, but they're stretching themselves thin So because they're investing in too many people with too many things. Huh. Okay. Now, let's. I thought this is a... I don't know, I guess a crosswatch or read. I don't know what that would be like, but what guidance? What guidance do you have about this, please? Uh, actually, let's get this. We'll do two separate. We got the fuck it ones. This is the person who this is happening to. What do you have to say? So you might be chucking in the fuck it bucket. Let's see. What guidance do you have for the person this is happening to? You're not a victim. Remember that, okay? This person may be victimizing you, but stay strong. If you're worried, if you're wondering, spirits got this. Karma will kick their ass. Oh, yeah. Karma will kick their ass. Oh, this one wanted to come out, too. You can't fix stupid. This person is about to learn a very heavy lesson. Now, let's see. What other guidance do we have? So, if you're worried about that, don't worry. This karma's going to get them. What else? For the person who is doing this behavior... No detours. Now is not the time to go off course. Stick with the plan. Have faith. This feeling will pass. Okay, what else? And crush the competition. Your insecurities are keeping you small. Reconnect with your dreams and aspirations. And you're being a dick. Your approach may be narrow-minded or you use control tactics to have the upper hand. Exactly. But don't, don't you worry. Karma is going to kick their ass though for you. Okay, so don't worry about it. I know you may feel like you want to do that yourself, but let karma, karma will do a much better job. 
much better job than you ever could. Okay? All right. Well, I hope this helps. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the information, again, will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe on this channel. Um, that way you know the next time I upload. And as always, I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Until next time. Bye.